Hey guys, and welcome back here to an episode of Hypixel Bed Wars. And today we'll be doing some solo gameplay, so we'll just be playing by ourselves. So let's hop into some 1v1v1s. Yep, he's banned. Yep, he's banned. He's rechecking. What am I supposed to do? What am I actually supposed to do? Welcome back, you guys, to the final round. So, I probably just gonna show why I broke the bed and the guy died because everything else was pretty lame there because didn't really have any progress. So yeah that that wasn't very fun at all. I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point because so I'm I wanna talk about what we're playing stuff about this video. Just annoyed from that last round of the day. I might show that clip too because I'm probably going to show the two hacker moments where they, I have already faced two reach hackers for sure. I can't, I couldn't tell if they were using some other form of hack client. I saw that, I know where they were both reach hacking. So that's never fun to go up against. So that's why I didn't talk the first half since I'm, I'm just annoyed at this point. Because I had two games where I just lose after doing semi well. Got him. Oh my gosh. I have to sweat. I have to sweat. We're going to get two gapples. So what I want to talk about in this video, guys, is strategies to winning. And this is like my guide to winning at least. So this may not be like the very best, but this is my way of winning, I'd say. So... There's a few different strategies I will use, and one of those is um, rushing middle, like I did kind of this, what I, did, what I did this game. So that's one strategy that you guys can implement and use. Another one is rushing your base next to you, which I did not use, but kind of, but uh, not really. Those are two strategies, and building on those strategies, these are for solo and teams, just so you guys know, our solos and twos. So, what you're gonna. Those are the two main ways of playing, I'd say, at least from my point of view, because otherwise I don't know other main ways to play, really, per se. So, I don't know what this guy's doing. Got him. Half heart. Oh my gosh, we're a legend. <sighs> we're going to get some gaps. My heart. So building on those two ideas of either rushing the base next to you or rushing middle. If you rush middle, I'd say you get bridge eggs since they're cheaper than ender pearls. And they're probably more efficient than ender pearls. So... Also get tools, get shears, get all that good stuff, because that's mainly what you're going to want to be going for. And um, if you get those two things, I'd say you're pretty, or like those few things, I'd say you're pretty good off. But don't get armor, don't get really, really overpowered stuff, don't get like beginning bows and that type of thing before your bed's broken. Because once you're, because if your bed's not broken, there's no point in having all this rich man stuff. And, um... You're, if you die with it, then all of a sudden it's a waste, but you're going to be trying your best when your bed's broken. And if you die with it, then at that point you're out of the game. And it's not as, it's a big hit, but it's not going to be like so, aw, uh, shucks moment. And the other thing I'd say to do is 
once you get once your buddy's out, definitely get like armor and things like that. Get all the rich stuff because that's when it's actually really necessary to get it all. And wait. Wait is out. Okay. Aqua is just gonna be annoying. Who else is in here? Yellow and aqua? Okay. So if you can just wait, persevere until the game is going towards the end, you will be very well set off. And that's basically my main strategy, and don't waste all of your blocks m rushing into middle, too, because, it, like, if you saw me, I might include that part where I speed bridge to middle, where I only take half my blocks instead of bringing them all, because there's no point of bringing them all if I'm just, if I die with all of them, so, that's a key, crucial thing to think about, too, is, are you willing to lose all that stuff? Right now, we have 13 emeralds, so I'm... I already have like my way of getting to people's bases, so I'm just gonna get a bow and some arrows. So, and armor. See, now that my bed's gone and everything, there's no reason for me not to get armor. Just because it would help, it's going to help me ultimately. So, I'll also get fireballs. Fireballs can help a lot too, and a lot of blocks. Those are like the key things. Blocks are super useful, can get you out of situations. Gapples as well. I'm probably just going to be cutting through a lot of this now because that's the main thing I want to talk to. Well, if I'm going to come back up here once more, I'd say that's when I'm going to be satisfied that he's not going to be able to come back. He's not going to be as prepared. This is my opportunity to go on for his bed. There we go, we got it. Now he's kind of gonna be sad, I'd say. Got him. I don't deserve this at all. I don't know how I'm alive. GG. Or GG. There we go. I finally got a win. I oh, wow, rip. And let me. Wow. Whatever. But then we're gonna open up the loot chest that we got for reaching level 18 or star 18. So let's do that. This is probably gonna be my last spooky chest I'll be able to open because it does end on Monday. So let's see what do we get. Oh my gosh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Starry veggie spray. That. Um, let me see. Where's my sprays? That's gotta be like rare. Yeah, that's rare. That's epic though, which is fine. So we'll put it like there. That's kind of lit. That's cool. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Hope you all enjoy. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys all next time. Hey guys, this is just gonna be a little bonus clip, but they did re release something that you can finally do with achievements. So I'm gonna click here. If you don't, if you guys don't know what achievements are. There are things you can get, so in-game achievements like winning, you get an achievement for it and things like that. So for example, like my Skywars achievements are like punch somebody into the void with your fist. Um, there's all these different ones here. Um, unlock 20 cages and just do all of this type of stuff. So it's really fun. So we're going to use our points here to actually go ahead and since they finally released this, so this is going to be very good. So we're just going to come over here.
very vintage Astro Retriever animated hack, so I'll show that at the end of the video. And here's our final one. This is insane. So 15,000 experience, two mystery boxes, legendary achievement to totem champion, one totem slot, blue totem style, and birdie head totem part. So we're, that's all we got. So we did level up to 115 in that. So let's see our hat now, animated hats. This one right here. I don't know how it's supposed to be animated. Oh, that's cool. And to finish it off, we get an epic nether theme housing. So we have 154, um, whatever you want to call it, or mystery dust. So we're going to this, and I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope to see you guys all next time.